Hello everyone, welcome to WCW Nitro Women's Championship Wrestling But tonight It has been taken over by the WWE Cup As we are on night four Here comes Alexander Wolf. We defeated Dolph Ziggler to gain two points on Raw. Introducing first from Dresden, Germany, weighing in at 245 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champion, Alexander Wolf. And folks, there will be three matches featuring the stars of WCW tonight. <clears throat> we have Candice LeRae taking on Becky Lynch. The Iconics will be in action defending their tag team titles. I believe against Alicia Fox and Dana Brooke. Alicia Fox... <clears throat> uh... Alicia Fox going for the tag belt tonight cashing in her opportunity and then your main event tonight will not be uh, block B action no your actual main event tonight will be WCW champion Alexa Bliss taking on WCW Intercontinental Champion Paige already off to a great start tonight. And here comes Bobby Fish, and who has partner, two points. From Springs, Got those two points from defeating the man he's teaming up with tonight, Alexander Wolf. And undisputed member Bobby Fish will be going up against a fellow undisputed era member known as Roderick Strong in this matchup. The next time we see Fish, he will actually be going up against Dolph Ziggler. And Wolf will be taking on Roderick Strong as tomorrow on SmackDown. Start that song all over. Champions in this match. 200 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Roderick Strong. A lot of champions in this block. With the North American Championship, the Universal Championship, the SmackDown Tag Champ, both Raw Tag Champs, Cruiserweight Championship. That's six. Right there. And Intercontinental Championship. That's seven. Then in B-Block, you only have the WWE Tag Champion, a SmackDown Tag Champ, the United Kingdom Champion, and the United States Champion. That's all there is over in B-Block. Let's bring out Strong's partner, I almost said opponent. <laughs> These two teamed up very well before on night two. And his partner from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. The 
folks want to go ahead and announce another tournament in the works it is the second Canadian classic where we will see superstars such as Kyle O'Reilly, Sami Zayn, Bobby Roode, Occam, Victor, Tyler Breeze, Kevin Owens, Bret Hart, Christian, Edge, Rick Martel, Eric Young, Jinder Mahal, Ty Dillinger, Chris Jericho, and Roddy Piper. <coughs> oh! Can't do it. Strong takes down Wolf. These two will meet tomorrow. On SmackDown, Bobby Fish with the cheap shot on his own fellow United, uh, Undisputed Era partner. Of course, we'll see more Undisputed Era uh, going on later on as Adam Cole and Elias take on Mustafa Ali and Kyle O'Reilly. Dragon Sleeper applied. Strong able to get out of it. <clears throat> Goes behind and beautiful rip breaker there. Uh, also, we will see a uh, matchup during the Canadian Classic featuring Maurice, Trish Stratus, Natalia, and Candice LeRae. So there's that. And ooh, takes him down. Bobby Fish with a back suplex on Strong on the outside. Strong pushes him away and oh, what a chop. Oh, Fish answers back. Kick to the back of the knee there. Punch right to the face. Fish, another one. I guess these two had a talk earlier to just not go easy on each other. Ooh, into the ring post, go strong. Referee at the count of seven. Ziggler saying, screw this, and throws Fish back in. Referee at the count of... Sorry, just had to sneeze all of a sudden. Strong makes it back in right before 10, and oh, knee right to the... Jaw of Wolf tags in Dolph Ziggler now. Not paying attention to Wolf. Let's say he's gonna get a little bit of revenge. And oh my god! Wow! Crossbody bring both men outside. Into the invisible announced booth. Into the British announced team. Spoof. Ziggler. Battling. Wolf. On the outside here. Off the table he goes. Into the ring post he goes. Ziggler not happy about losing a match last night. Both men at the count of eight now. Strong looking worse for wear and oh, kick to the stomach. Ziggler picks up Wolf. Wolf with a couple of elbows. Gets out of the grasp. Also folks, we will be hearing from Kyrie Saiyan later on tonight. Fish gets tagged in. Crowd chanting for Ziggler. What is this? What the hell was that? That was great. A power slam suplex. That's what I would call it. First time I've seen that. Fish into the corner. Ziggler into the corner now. <clears throat> Fish. Annoyed that Wolf had the referee in the way. It cost him, and nope. Fish able to get out of the grasp of Dolph Ziggler. Takes him down. Fish waiting for him to get up. 
And rolls through and hooks the leg. But strong is there to break it up. Bobby Fish. I don't know what he was going for. Maybe he was thinking about a weapon and decided against it, knowing that he would get disqualified. Although, there are no points to gain in these tag matches. They are just previews for tomorrow, or for the next night. Ziggler. <clears throat> Choking Bobby Fish now. It's Bobby Fish and Roderick Strong, they will be meeting. We will be meeting on night night nine. Ooh. Wait a minute, Ziggler's in trouble, Alio. Believe I talked about Strong and Dolph Ziggler battling the other night. Uh, they will be meeting on night seven. And Strong and Alexander Wolf will meet on night five along with Fish and Ziggler. Of course, Fish and Wolf already met. We just saw the famous are hit on Fish and Dolph tags in Strong instead of going for the pin. Roddy grabs him back suplex after deadlifting him. Fish back up, ducks under, kick to the leg, another one, a third. Fish bringing him over to the wolf. Strong gets up, wolf sends him into the corner again, no. Strong sends him over to the corner. Heads in Ziggler. Elbowed by the two. Oh, wait a minute, Dolph is tuning up the band. And sweet chin music. That's gotta be it. One, two, as Bobby Fish makes the save. Referee out. Her on it by Fish. Wolf with the back body drop on Ziggler sends him over to Fish. Ooh, what a European uppercut. Goes for the pin. One. No. Wolf now. What is he doing? What is he thinking? Who knows? Tags in Bobby Fish. Knee to the knee. A second time and a third. Softening up the leg. For the leg lock. Cover. One. Two. That's it. Okay. Wow. That's an interesting finish. I have seen worse though. Kane versus stunning Steve Austin from back in a bash at the beach a few seasons back. That was a horrible finish back then. <clears throat> Horrible finish to a uh, great NXT feud and match, and but hey, whatever. Fish. Bobby Fish and Alexander Wolf pick up the win over Roderick Strong and Dolph Ziggler. Let's get to our next match, which is going to be pretty good, I would hope. Stay tuned. Here we go. Ricochet making his way down. Introducing first from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet.
Ricochet teaming up with Rey Mysterio tonight. And other times throughout this this uh, tournament. Ricochet has been very impressive this season. Recently debuted. Let's bring out his partner. Rey Mysterio battled Kyle O'Reilly <clears throat> on Raw, lost his match, so he is still searching for his two or first two points. Let's bring out their opponents. Here comes Seth Rollins. Really love the look of this gear. Seth Rollins teaming up with Dean Ambrose throughout this tournament. First, from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in. 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins bummed out that he was left out of such a tournament, or could not make it, I should say. Not left out, he just didn't qualify for it. Roman and Seth would have been great additions to this tournament, but well, we got what we have, and it's been pretty good. I'm not going to lie. First three nights have been solid. Here comes Ambrose, who defeated Bobby Fish. Dean Ambrose versus Rey Mysterio. That's going to be a fantastic match, in my opinion. <coughs> Again, I'm still very excited for later on tonight when we see Alistair Black take on The Rock. It will be Ricochet and Seth Rollins starting things off in this matchup. Ricochet in the corner now. And the ref breaks the two up. Oh, what a close line by Seth. And Aliop taking him out of the corner away from Mysterio. Morgan Light suplex by his Seth. Jawbreaker by Ricochet. Ricochet with the drop kick. Lifts him up. And ooh! Drops him down and he's pumped. Rollins fighting back. Super no. Fishman, oh! 
Small package driver, and oh, there he is. Let's say Kip up for Karada. Seth was definitely surprised. Ooh, what a DDT. Ricochet. No. Rollins with a drop kick. Following a drop breaker. Now working over the arm. Lifts him up. Sending him over to Ambrose. Dean is tagged in now. Nightmare. And holding him. Ooh, boot right to the face. Oh, wait a minute. Ricochet sending Dean into Ray's corner. Wait a minute. And. Ooh, what a cutter. Fans chanting RKO. A bunch of marks. Suplex. As we see a preview for tomorrow. Ambrose lifting him up. And Ray answering back with a European uppercut. No, gets caught. Drop down. Dean. Rolls him over for a Texas Clover Leaf. And Ray able to roll out of it. Drop kick. Stereo with a drop kick to the knee. Lifts him up. Lifts him over into the corner. Tags and ricochet. Snapmare by the two and ooh! Kick and wait a minute, what's this? Beautiful teamwork by Ricochet and Rey Mysterio. Ambrose now. Grabs Ricochet by the scruff of the neck. Sends him into the corner, tags in Seth. And, oh! <clears throat> Seth that time with the boot to the face and getting booed out the building. Rollins with a suplex. And Ricochet able to shift his body weight. Zigzag. And Ricochet. Almost. That taunt almost cost it. Ricochet. His momentum. Still has it. Putting Seth, no, Seth battling back. A couple of elbows. And, whoa! Ricochet able to deflect whatever Rollins was going for. Now working on the arm. Ooh! Ricochet, working on the leg. Ricochet in a single leg Boston Crab, trying to get to the ropes, he does. Oh, never mind. That was because he got to the ropes. No, he just pulled through and kicked him away. Rollins takes him down. Ricochet. Answers back in the back suplex. Wow, standing shooting star press. Lifts him up, drops him again. Tags in Mysteria. Ray and Rollins have had matches in the past here this season, and they have been great. Rollins. Sending Mysterio into the corner where Dean waits. Tagged in now. And, ooh, right to the face by Dean. Ambrose now looking for a fisherman suplex. And wait a minute, Ray. Ray able to counter with a roll up. One, two, three, he got him. Rollins. I thought, I think Rollins thought that Dean was going to be able to kick out. That was beautiful teamwork. 
Oh, what a boot. That's a vicious looking boot, and here we go. Here's the end. Okay, apparently Here not. Fuck me. Winners, Ricochet and Ray Mysterio. What a match. What a team these two make. Folks, we will be back. Stay tuned for more WWE Cup action. Mustafa Ali making his way out. Introducing first, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali will be taking on Elias on night five. <clears throat> Kyle O'Reilly will be taking on Adam Cole on night five, but tonight they are teaming up to take on. Adam Cole and Elias. And his partner from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 200 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champion, Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly and Mustafa Ali will be meeting for the first time on night seven. gonna have to excuse me for a few minutes as their opponents make their way out. And their opponents first from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 205 pounds, Adam And his partner from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Elias.
All right, full temp back. Sorry about that. And here we go. Match underway. It's Mustafa Ali and Adam Cole pick things off. <coughs> Ooh, Elias takes a cheap shot. And Ali fighting out of that corner. Adam Cole defeated Elias on Raw, gaining him four points. And an Intercontinental Championship opportunity, and now they are tagging tonight. Ali went up against Shinsuke Nakamura and put on a hell of a fight, but ended up losing to the Universal Champion. And Kyle O'Reilly defeated Rey Mysterio. To each man in each man, each man in this matchup has at least two points. Oh! Adam Cole being the only one with four. O'Reilly sends him off the rope. Big belly to belly there. Elias makes a say or makes a tag, I should say. Here we go, a little preview. O'Reilly. No oh, wait a minute, Adam Cole breaking out of his grasp. Big clothesline to the outside. Adam Cole. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Just rocked Adam Cole. Adam. Grabs him by the leg. Pulled him in for a lariat. And O'Reilly. So, oh. Adam Cole sends it back in. Mustafa wants to tag. He makes it. Drop kick. Kyle O'Reilly and Elias will be meeting on night 19. Adam Cole and Mustafa Ali. Let's see here. They will meet on night 13 in round 7. Ali wants Cole up. And, oh, Adam Cole saw it coming. He had it well scouted. Mustafa Ali with a drop breaker off the ropes. I don't know if that was a knee or a drop kick. Adam Cole, so used to teaming with O'Reilly, started going over to him. Oh, and it cost him. Cheap shot there. And oh, O'Reilly tags himself in. And oh, wait a minute. Oh, super kick to the knee and face. And oh, what a shot to the face that was. Cole sending him over to Elias. No, O'Reilly. And, oh, wow. Wow, what teamwork by O'Reilly and Ali. They've been seeing a lot of great teamwork here. Oh, sorry about that. Fired up. Cover. One count only. Boot right to the face, Ali. No. 
Ali is caught. Elias. Oh my god. Thought he was going for a body slam. Instead, he just threw him into the turnbuckle. And Ali is about to go walk with Elias. It is the walk with Elias cup, according to Elias. Now with the Boston Crab center of the ring. <clears throat> Ali trying to get to the ropes. And he powers out of it. Excuse me. Yawn just came out of nowhere for me. Ali. No. Ooh. This tag match is any preview of tomorrow on SmackDown. This is gonna, like, we're gonna see two great matches. I don't know what the hell Ali was going for, but Elias says no way, and it's time to drift away. Cover. One. Two. Oh. O'Reilly breaks it up. Hits the ref as well, and whoa. O'Reilly has everything scouted from Cole. Elias picks him up, and Ali turns it into a DDT. Ali working on the arm of the Intercontinental Champion. Big forearm to Elias in the corner. He's going up. Could we see the 054? Hits it. Cover. One. Two. Oh. Elias able to kick out. And O'Reilly tossing Adam Cole back over the ropes onto the apron. As Ali taking it to Elias. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. No, I, I got confused. I was thinking Elias was teamed with O'Reilly and Adam Cole was trying to attack his partner. Wow. Cover one, two, no. Ali now sending Elias into the corner. Turns him around. Elias. No, misses the clothesline. And beautiful DDT there by Ali. Mustafa going up. Four fifty splash. Looked like it hurt a lot. Or excuse me, Ali. About the same as Elias. One, two, and three. That's it. Mustafa Ali and Kyle O'Reilly pick up the win. <laughs> that beautiful 450 was enough to put away Elias. Here. And Adam Cole. Mustafa Ali and Kyle O'Reilly. All right, folks. We got one last tag team matchup for you. Johnny Gargano and Orny Larkin take on Shinsuke Nakamura and Hideo Itami. Stay tuned, folks. We are back with the last tag match of Block A. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 190 pounds, Oni Lorkin. Oni Lorkin. 
teaming up with Johnny Gargano tonight. He looks ready. We haven't seen... I don't think we've seen Oni since... Uh, well, since the qualifiers for this. So never mind, I'll just shut my mouth. And his partner from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano making his way down. <clears throat> Zero points in this tournament so far. He has lost to Dolph Ziggler and Roderick Strong. And he will be taking on Shinsuke Nakamura next time we see him in a champion versus championship match. <clears throat> champion versus champion, excuse me. Here comes former WWE Champion Hideo Itami. And their opponent first. Sorry about that, I had to clear my throat. Weighing in at 180 pounds, Hideo Itami. Hideo Itami will be teaming up with Shinsuke Nakamura. Lost the WWE Championship to Kurt Angle last season. Seem to have not fully recovered from it. Oh, he's checking out that ass. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, let's bring out the Universal Champion. It will be a big opportunity for Johnny Gargano tomorrow on SmackDown. As if he, because if he wins, he will get a shot at the Universal Championship. Nakamura does not meet the two hundred, uh, yeah, two hundred five pound limit, so he will not get it. You just heard he is about fifteen pounds heavier than what is needed. Oni not impressed. Neither is Gargano. <laughs> Who was doing the jack off motion? Cause that was perfect. I'm gonna say it was Oni. It's gonna be Oni and Hideo kicking things off in this 20 minute time limit tag match. Deo pushing Oni into the corner. Oni with a neck breaker. Very effective. So is a jawbreaker from Itami. Arm drag. Oni now in control. No. Hideo battling back. Oh. Oh, got caught. 
And no, Oni fighting back. <clears throat> Excuse me. The day with Tommy now in control. Dragon Oni into oh. It's gonna say over to the Universal Champion, but Oni fighting back. Fighting out of his grasp. Before body slam, but no. Itami, ooh. A few kicks right to the face. Itami, suplex. Beautifully executed. Picking up Oni now. Sends him over into the corner. Oni switches places. Sends Itami into the other corner. Corner he does not want to be in, and Gargano is tagged in now. Got three cruiserweights in this match. <clears throat> Ooh! Itami with a Yurinagi and able to make a tag to Shinsuke Nakamura for a little preview of tomorrow night's matchup. Shinsuke, big chop across the chest. And, ooh, into Guri. And Nakamura, right back at it. Gargano tags out. Oni takes down the Universal Champion. Oh, ooh, gets caught. Kick right to the knee and oh, went for a headbutt, but he got caught up on the ropes now. Into the corner. Ooh. A running knee right into the ribs. Alley oop. Ooh. Stiff kick there by Nakamura going for the pin now. One and two. No. Right to the side of the head, and oh, another one. Oh my god, he's going for a third one. Shinsuke sending him over into the corner. Ooh, boot right to the face. Oni bringing the Universal Champion over. Snapmare, followed by a stiff kick to the back. Nakamura back up though. Spinning working around. Power bomb. Ooh. Let's not go for the pin though. Working. The big. Back suplex on the champ. Nakamura sending him over to Itami again. No, working. <clears throat> nope. Shinsuke with an elbow. Get out of the corner. Dragging him back over. Tags in Itami. What are we going to do here? Oh, double backstabber. That's how he choking Oni now. Oh, Oni's busted open. Oh, a boot to the face. Not sure when he got busted open. Suplex. Tommy is fired up. Ooh, what a double stomp that was. Hideo now 
Ooh, stomping right on the arm. And again. Oh. Rings at Saturn. Will only tap out. Gargano not even bothering to help. Oh, perhaps he knew that Lorcan was able to get out of it. Oh, what a slap and a kick. Fireman carry counter. Lorcan now. Snap mare. Ooh. Elbows right to that chest, shoulder area. Now waiting for Hideo to get up. And half and half suplex. Cover. One. Two. No. No, Oni, it was it was two, not one. Perhaps he was saying just needed one more count. Larkin with a clothesline. Setting up for something. And, oh, neck breaker. Cover. One, two. Hideo was able to kick out. Nakamura was trying to break it up as well. Only going after the champ. Got clocked. Scythe, never mind. Oh my god, Oni's face covered in blood. The proverbial crimson mask. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have to... Oh my god, I half and half suplex from the top. That's gotta be it. One, Nakamura able to break it up. Gargano misses. Oof. What a sidewalk slam that was. Oni, all, whoa. Hideo, taking it to Oni now. A oh, slap to the face. Ooh. Oh, that slap woke Oni up. Hideo not where he should be. Oh, Gargano being nice. <coughs> Grab some respect towards the former world heavyweight champion. And oh, got caught. Oh. Hideo, waiting for Oni to get up. No! I think he was getting ready for the go to sleep. Oni's had it scouted. I'm not sure if Oni has won a match here since, or uh, in his debut or since his debut or not I know he did not win any matches during the H2C round robin tournament Ooh. I remember him having a hell of a match with Braun Strowman and he lost that one as well and ooh running European uppercut in the corner Ooh, trying to body to him, but Hideo able to uh, block it. Tags in Gargano. That was awkward. Oh! Gargano certainly didn't get all of that, whatever it was. Hideo took him down for it. Tags in Shinsuke and Gargano right there. Oh, wait a minute. Nakamura was ready. Picked up Gargano now. Shot to the face. Looking for that inverted exploder. Nails it.
Throwing knees to the head of the Cruiserweight Champion now. Gargano, no. Jinsuke drops him with the DDT. But Gargano right back up. Shinsuke doesn't realize it. Now he does. Off the ropes. Gargano misses the Enziguri, but right back up. Hits it that time. Gargano now. Working the arm. Ooh. Sends him into the corner. And one dart. Face first goes Nakamura. Jawbreaker to Gargano. Shinsuke Kinshasa. Goes for the pin. Oni right in. Breaks it up. It's a hell of a tag match. Oni getting double teamed though. Oh, we make Gargano with the jawbreaker to Nakamura. Oni and Hideo still going at it. Ref trying to break it up. Finally does. Nakamura rolls to the outside, gets back in. Picks up Gargano. Ooh! Super kick! Oh my god. Force behind that super kick just spun him all around it. Oh, Oni got hit. Oni got hit by Gargano. Super kick! Cover! What is the ref doing? One, two, and three! Gargano makes it! A victory. We're not going to see Gargano hit Oni. Oni Lorcan and Johnny Gargano. These two pull off the win. All right, folks. Let's get to. I believe Kyrie Sane will be coming out next. So stay tuned for that. Welcome back, Kyrie Sane out here now. And folks, we have an update about Oni Lorcan and Johnny Gargano. Gargano got attacked by Oni Lorcan in the back. Anyways, let's see what Kyrie Sane has to say. Uh oh. friend of hers apparently went behind her back and said some things. Whoa! What? Oh my god! I can't believe Trish would say anything about Kyrie. What?
Well, we're getting Trish to come out now. What? What the hell did Trish even say about Kyrie? Where the hell is Trish? Oh, there she is. I thought Trish was gonna attack her. Jeez. Trish apparently trying to get some love from the crowd after being accused. Yes, Liza, I know. Apparently the crowd's with Kyrie saying same old shit. Crowd chanting for Emotep. I don't know why we are in Illinois, not Egypt. I honestly thought Kyrie would talk about Dakota. Honestly, after having a great matchup last week, <laughs> apparently Trish Stratus has been talking smack about Kyrie. Kyrie's not happy about it. And now she wants to fight her. Why is it when everyone stands up, they stand up so slowly? It's so creepy. <laughs> oh my god, that's so disturbing. Interesting words from Kyrie saying. And it looks like we're going to have a match between Trish and Kyrie saying it's not going to happen this week. Perhaps it will happen next week on Nitro. Oh, wow. All right, folks, let's get to the next match. We got a great matchup right now. Candice LeRae will take on Becky Lynch. I'm excited for it. 
Candice LeRae. Candace looking ready. The big match ahead of her tonight. Especially since the change that took place during the WCW Cup with this woman right here, Becky Lynch. And her opponent. Defeated Shayna Baszler and has now started calling herself the man. All power to her. Becky Lynch almost won her block, but was shut down by Paige on the second to last night. It was very upsetting, to say the least. She truly believes she could have been the first ever women's intercontinental champion. But alas, <clears throat> oh, Becky with a cheap shot. As I was going to say, but alas, she was unable to, and her Karana by Candice. Candice now. Ooh! Becky's head bouncing off that rope. That is not good. Becky right back up. The two go back into a corner. Referee trying to break it up. Can we see another cheap shot? No, not this time. Perhaps Becky was trying to get into the head. Oh. Candace. In trouble right now. And oh, never mind. A couple shots gets her out of it. <laughs> Becky with a drop kick. Becky in control. Ooh. Working on the arm, trying to soften it up, to disarm her. Still working on the arm once again. Stomping right on it. And Candace with a really stiff looking elbow there. Becky sends her into the corner. No, misses. Candice, Bulldog, now step in the neck and the back. Looking for, oh God, Becky landing on that bottom rope. That's it, that's gotta be it. No, Becky kicks out at one. Thought she was gonna kick out right away. Not kick out right away. What the hell am I talking about? I was not expecting her to kick out right away. I was expecting that to be it. If not, at least a two count. Becky with the sweep of the leg. Working on the arm once again. Picks her up. And now, Exploder! Becky telling her to get up. Candace is hurt. She's up. Wait a minute. 
taking control of Becky. Drop kick miss. Sends her into the other corner. Ooh, shot right to the face. Now, oh, Becky able to stomp the stomps. Now waiting for Candace to get up. Becky now grabs the arm and oh, Candace had it scouted. Into the corner she goes. Candace now. Ooh, what a shot to the face. What's she doing here? Looking for that neck breaker. She nails it. Cover one, two, and no. Becky able to kick out. It would be a huge win for Candace to be able to put away Becky. Candace, ooh. Becky has her up and drops her on the middle rope. That was, that was something. Ooh, working the neck. Folks, up next, after this match, we have a tag team championship match. As the Iconics defend their tag belts against Alicia Fox, who is turning in her opportunity alongside Dana Brooke. Wait a minute, Crucifix, we got a pin. One, two, no. Becky now. No. Candace. Sidewalk slam. Becky. Looking for another exploder. Candace right back up though. Oh, Becky not happy about it. The stiff shots to the face. Knocks Candace down. Candace goes down hard. Becky now waiting. Grabs the arm and locks it in. Oh, Candace. Candace got right out of it. And wait a minute. What's this? Ooh. A hammerlock reverse DDT. Landing right on the arm. Becky has been working on it all night. And wait a minute. Sunset flip. One. Two. Oh my god. So close. Becky. Just able to kick out. And up and over she goes. No. Becky says no way. And now a single leg Boston Crab, but she is too close to the ropes. Becky now picking up Candace. Another, a third Bexploder. She is waiting. She's got the arm. She's got it locked in. Disarm her. Candace so close. Oh my god, Candace again able to pull out of it. Becky going for a cover. Don't do this. Don't do this. You son of a bitch. Becky wins. Oh, I hate that shit so much. Oh, man. What a great match, though. Here Referee checking on Candace. Match. Her arm is probably badly damaged. All right, let's get to our tag match, folks. Stay tuned.
We're back. Alicia, you are not the United Kingdom champion. Alicia Fox coming out with a, I would imagine a replica. Wow, what happened to my voice just then? Replica? Anyway. Uh, very confused. She may be delusional. I'm not sure. I, I don't like saying that about Alicia, but... I don't know. I am so confused right now. But needless to say, let's bring out the tag champs. The Iconics. After this match, we will begin Block B. Single matches for the WWE Cup. The Iconics won the titles from Ruby Riot and Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan was able to gain, <clears throat> excuse me, was able to gain a championship opportunity for the tag belts. So her and I would imagine another Riot Squad member, whether it be Liv or Ruby, will be cashing in quite soon. Speaking of cash-ins, um, yep, Alexa Bliss has to worry about Ember Moon. Because Ember Moon still has that money in the bank briefcase. The way to the ring. They're already Alicia in the ring, JoJo. And Dana Brock. These two look ready. And their opponents. They are the tag team. Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Oh boy. JoJo's all over the place tonight, apparently. Those beautiful WCW Women's. I should say Women's Championship Wrestling Tag Team titles. Here we go. Alicia Fox starting things off with Billy Kay. Here we go. Billy. No. Alicia. Whoa, what a hip toss. Picks it back up. Sending her over. Ooh. Hard into the corner. Suplex. By Billy Kay. Alicia Fox still not happy about losing the United Kingdom Championship, as you can tell with her replica title she came out with tonight. And ooh, gets caught. Lost the title to Naomi last week. And beautiful takedown there. Okay. Apparently the crowd not happy about this match happening. But you know what? Too bad for them, because it is happening. And Alicia throwing Billy across the ring. I her hair. Alicia Fox now. Bring her over to Dana Brooke. Tags her in. Dana, a couple of elbows to the stomach. 
<laughs> Grab the referee instead of Billy. I don't know what happened there. Oh! Misses. Billy Kay is here to stay. I agree with that sign. The Iconic certainly have become a mainstay of WCW. And oh no, oh no. Rana got caught. Slam face first and Peyton Royce tagged in. Misses that drop kick though. Oh face to knee. Oh what a what a clothesline. Drop kick missed again. Dana. Ooh. Dana Brooke stretching her out. Dana Brooke and Alicia Fox did tag throughout the WCW Cup. It's a great tournament. I do say so myself. And the WWE Cup is just as great. And of course, the two shows will not happen in the summer next year. Not at all. Not happen. <laughs> We'll probably start in the spring. Hopefully end in the summer. Ooh! Peyton. Those kicks. Hopefully end like right at the beginning of summer. Man, it gets hot in this commentating group. Dana shoves her away. Dana going for a tag to Fox. Kick to the stomach, got another one. Peyton, DDT while staring in the eyes of Dana Brooke. Ooh, went for another spinning kick and Alicia saw it coming. Alicia sent over to Billy. Oh, again, Alicia has those kicks scouted. He has been watching her Iconics tapes. Got caught with it that time though. And Peyton. Suplex. Shades of Eddie Guerrero. Followed by a shade of Mr. Perfect. One. Dana's right there to break it up. Billy now. Sending Dana into the ropes. Takes her down. Peyton. Bring her attention back to Alicia. As Fox. What's she doing here? Power bomb. Ooh! Peyton. Jawbreaker. Nope. Oh, Peyton. Oh, up and over the ropes. And Dana takes her out. Ooh, into the steel steps goes Peyton. Shot to the face. Ooh, one by Peyton, two by Peyton, three! Followed by a kick. Ooh! Chopped to the throat. Referee at the count of four now, Alicia. Trying to bring Peyton back in. Drop kick! Alicia back in. Peyton dazed on the outside. She gets in at eight. Good thing for Dana and Alicia Fox, because if they won by count out, they would not get the tag titles. And cashing in that chance would have just been no good. Ooh, would have been pointless. Alicia makes the tag. Billy doing a curtsy to Dana. Dana not happy about it. Oops, stretching on the arm.
Dana Brooke with the cover. One, no. Knee, no. Knee, miss. Off the ropes goes Billy. No. Dodges that clothesline. Billy K now. Oh. No. Ooh, shit. Got clocked. And again. Billy says that's it. Cover. One. No. Not enough to put her away. Alicia Fox back on the apron. And okay, she made the tag. Ooh. Both women went for the same thing, but Alicia Fox up on top. Alicia, crucifix, goes for the pin, one, no. Referee with a very slow count if you ask me. I don't know what Alicia's doing. Back in. Now laughing at Billy Kay. Grabs her by the hair and slams her down. And again. Alicia. Wait a minute, Billy. Flipping around. Takes her out. Ooh! Drop kick by Fox. And Alicia showing some disrespect to the tag champ. And, ooh, a shot to the face that was by Kay. Oh, wait a minute. Alicia sent her over to Dana. Up top. Double axe handle to the arm. Dana Brooke spins her around. And Samoan driver. Hooks the leg. No. Billy kicks right out. Dana shoves her right back down, though. Great block of that chop. Rook sends her into the corner. Billy, no. Dana Brooke. That's a by the scruff of the neck. Snap mirror. Into a reverse chin lock. going on here Ooh, kick to the stomach and a kick to the back covered by Peyton using the ropes 2-1 no one count only I've never seen anyone win by that I don't think I have it's been a very long time Billy picks her up, slams her down hard. She's not done, but Dana with a sweep of the leg. Sends her over to Fox. Ooh, right to the face and elbows following by Dana. Back suplex. What? What is... Alicia doing? She's telling Dana to take care of it. I I don't understand. Alicia, back up. Boot right to the face by Dana. Dana out of that corner, reverse DDT. Okay, sent into the corner. A neutral corner, that is. Ooh, what a shot to the face. And snap mare. 
Dana. Beautiful. Cover. Awkward. Oh my god, but she got it! We got new tag champs! What? I was not expecting that to be the end. And the crowd cheering, and I believe they're cheering because they are quite happy. And it's the end. But oh my god, we got new tag champs, folks. Here are your winners and the new WCW Tag Team Alicia Fox and Dana Brooke. Wow. That's all I can say. Well, congratulations to Dana Brooke and Alicia Fox. Certainly surprised everyone here. Let's get to the next match, shall we? I believe we shall. You know how on SmackDown we started with a Hoss fight between Big E and Killian Dane? Well, tonight we're starting off with another one for Block B as Roe takes on Big E tonight. Big ol' Hoss fight. To the ring from parts unknown, weighing in at 247 pounds. Row making his way down. His current stance is in last place with zero points alongside his opponent tonight. Row lost to New Day member Kofi Kingston. Let's see if he can take out Big E tonight. Or will Big E cause another loss for Roe? Big E lost to Killian Dane in his last matchup. Big E later on tonight as Kofi comes out to take on Kurt Angle. Your other matches tonight besides this and the one I just mentioned, Killian Dane will take on Curtis Axel. Eric Young will take on Goldust. The Rock versus Aleister Black. And John Cena versus Kevin Owens. And your main event tonight. Champion versus championship match between Alexa Bliss and Paige. Non-title match, by the way. Even though Paige does have a chance to cash in for the uh, WCW championship. Like I mentioned before, speaking of cash-ins, Ember Moon lurking around in the back. And Alexa Bliss has to be wary of that. Here we go. 30 minutes on the clock for your first match of the Block B of the WWE Cup. Two in the corner. and Oh, Ro! Jesus, what a punch! And Big E with a big power slam. One, no. I think the ref may have slapped Roe by accident. And Roe, big overhead belly to belly. This is the third time these two have been in the ring during this tournament. First time was on the first night. Kofi Kingston and Big E took on Killian Dane and Roe. 
Then again on Raw. As it was Big E and Xavier Woods taking on the War Raiders, Hanson and Rowe. And ooh. Which, by the way, phenomenal tag match if you haven't seen it. Big E telling him to get up, decides to just pick him up on his own snapmare. Reverse chin lock applied. Very awkward showing in the front row there. And row battling back on his feet. Or to his feet, I should say. Ooh. Big E in the ropes. Off the ropes now. Row. Ooh. What a hip toss. Row is pumped. Looking for his first two points, but so is Big E. And that's all right. If one of these two do not get a score tonight, it's a very long tournament. 22 nights in total. 23 if you want to count the finals. Which we will be... Oh! When it comes close to the final night, we will talk about what these men are fighting for. Sweep of the leg there. Big E certainly does have moves. Big moves. And oh! Shot to the stomach by Roe. Roe. Oh no. Oh! Catches him right in the jaw. Row now. No, Big E's art. Something coming. Picks up Row. Backbreaker. Looking for a second one. Executes it perfectly. Cover. Fucks the ref doing. One. Biggie, another reverse chin lock applied. Dragging him away from the ropes. Picks him up and oh no. Stiff kick to the back and oh. Boot right onto the face, row back it up. Oh. Knee right to the side of the head. Row with the pin. One. Two. No. Kick out by Big E. Another kick to the back. Big E now with a big overhead belly to belly. E now. Running the ropes. Oh my god. The height he gets on that splash is always so impressive. And no. Row. Takes him down with that back body drop. And ooh. Gets caught with the jawbreaker. Big E picks him up. Looking for a big ending. But no. Gets hit with the DDT. Big E rolling to the outside. Smart thing to do. <clears throat> Gets back in. Oh my god, folks. It's only, it's only been five minutes. It seems like this match has had so much action. Action, excuse me. Bro, oh no. Cover. One, two, three, that's it. Roe picks up his first two points. Here is your winner, Roe. We're not gonna see any highlights? All right be that way all right let's get to our next match folks stay tuned here we go with our next match
making his way to the ring from Chaplin, Minnesota, weighing in at 228 pounds, Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel, currently with zero points, went up against Aleister Black, the United States champion, in his first matchup. That was perfect with the music. I know you guys can't hear the music and I'm sorry. Oh my god. That yeah was perfect. Like perfectly timed. And a little break between the music. Anyway. Curtis Axel looks ready, although he has a very big challenge tonight. That challenge's name is Killian Dane. United Kingdom champion I I am gonna have to say this I I believe Killian Dane has held that title for well over a year now pretty much close to two years probably I don't even know when that championship tournament was it's been so long I'm gonna see if I can find it Watch it not be in the playlist. I mean, I granted we did take a long time off. All right, that's right. It took place with the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament as well. Let me make sure my computer is muted. All right, let's see when this was uploaded. October 18th, 2017, Killian Dane has been champion for well over a year now. And he is going on a two year reign as United Kingdom champion. Dane, overhead belly to belly. And if Curtis Axel is able to put away Dane tonight, oh my god. Oh! Curtis Axel will receive a shot at that United Kingdom Championship. Axel thrown over the top onto the floor. Last time we saw Axel, he's teaming with Goldust and Killian Dane and Eric Young just. Truly, just Killian Dane did not allow Goldust to tag out and won by countout, unfortunately. And Goldust will be taking on Eric Young later on tonight. As I mentioned before. Oh, suplex. Oh. Folks, let me run down uh, block A standings for you real quick. Dean Ambrose and... Adam Cole with four points. They are in first place. Tied for first place, I should say. Tied for second place. Oh! Or, I should say, next one down is Bobby Fish, Dolph Ziggler, Roderick Strong, Alexander Wolf, Kyle O'Reilly, Elias, Mustafa Ali, and Shinsuke Nakamura, all with two points. Followed by Rey Mysterio and Johnny Gargano with zero points. Axel 
Axel. Reverse chin lock applied. Trying to keep the big man down. Axel dragging him away from the ropes cover. One, no, not even a one count. Dane a little slow to get up. Axel helping him up and oh, pays for it. Oh my god, I thought that black spot was something on my screen. It's actually like Axel's back. Never noticed it. Off the ring apron goes Dane. Face first. And into the ring. Dane right back up, waiting for Curtis to get back in. Snapmare. Shades of his father, Mr. Perfect. Not in this tournament. Although I feel like he should have been, but hey, whatever. It was all qualified for. Oh, Dane with a crossbody. <clears throat> Don't know what the hell happened to my voice there. Into the corner, Dane. Looking for a tree of woe. Oh my god, what's he doing? What is he doing? No. Oh my fucking god, no way. Seriously? Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. Why do we not see more of Killian Dane in this season? Holy shit. Cover. One. Two. No. Jawbreaker by Axel. Drop kick to follow. And Axel feeling it. Telling him to get in. Takes him down instead. Just like knocks him down. Kick to the back. To the giant known as Killian Dane. Curtis with the pin. One, no. Curtis Axel getting a little too cocky. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh, what an elbow drop from Dane. Pick him up, but Axel with another jawbreaker. Ooh! Takes him down with that kick. The first chin lock applied once more. Time to keep the big man off his feet. But Dane. Fighting back. Ooh! Big cross body again. One. Two, no, Axel kicked out. I thought that was going to be it, folks. I really did. But he was unable to knock all the air out of him. Day now. No, Axel, sweep of the leg. Kicked away. Ooh, stomps right on his face. Day now. Oh my god, deadlifting Axel. Oh! What a power bomb! No, 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 no! Looking for Ulster Plantation. Hits it. Center of the ring. One, two. No! Axel kicked out. What? What? Dane can't believe it. Now getting on the nerves of Axel. I believe Axel is getting on the nerves of Dane. Sweeps the leg once more. Axel firing back with everything he has. Spins him around off the ropes. Beautiful arm drag. Axel! 
Wait, what? What the fuck? Big Boss Man's music just hit. What is going on? Axel waiting for Big Boss Man to come out. Wait a minute! Oh, Boss Man slam! What? Dane. One. Two. Oh my god. Axel kicks out. I thought that was it. I don't know why the ref didn't call for the bell. And hey, wait a minute. Oh! I'm sorry. That's the Axel. One. Two. Oh, Dane gets the shoulder up. That's Axel yelling at the ref to count faster. I believe the first move that I called the Axel was the McGilly Cutter. I apologize. To Curtis Axel. Ooh, punch to the face. Caught. Clothesline. I don't even know where Boss Man went. Probably through the crowd once more. Big punch. And oh, gets caught. Axel, no. Dane. Axel getting back in and after kicking Dane in the leg. Dane trying to grab him. Axel taking a moment to himself and all oh, pays for it. Axel rolling to the apron. Dane telling him to get his ass up. Excuse me. Probably saying arse. Killian. Oh, what an uppercut. Woke Axel up, though. Wait, it picks him up. What's he doing here? Oh! Right on the thin mats. On the outside. Oh, God. Suplex. No! Axel would have went right on to the damn barricade. Oh, no. He's pulling him back out. Does break the count though. Killian. Ooh, what a punch to the face. Ooh, off the ring apron. Oh, it looks like that busted axle open. Oh my god. Dane just going straight for the head now. That's trying to concuss Axel. Curtis Axel giving it all he has in this matchup. And Killian sending him over into the corner. I think he's setting up for Ulster Plantation. Yes, that's what it looks like. And center of the ring. Plants him. Hooks the leg. That's it. One, two, three. Curtis Axel did everything he could to stay in that match. You really have to give it up for him. <laughs> There's the first Ulster plantation. Planting him center of the ring, but it was not enough. And there's Boss Man with the Boss Man Slam. Here is your winner, Killian Dane. Killian Dane now with four points. Curtis Axel still with zero. Let's get to our next match, folks. Wow, Axel has a lot of enemies that I had no idea about. <laughs> Next match. Oh, WWE Universe! Don't you dare be sour! Clap for your longest reigning tag champs and feel the power! 
Here we go. Kofi Kingston takes on Kurt Angle. Making his way to the ring from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston with two points, defeating Rowe in the first night of the B block. Looks ready. <clears throat> and here he comes. The WWE Champion Kurt Angle and Kofi has a big chance tonight, folks. If he defeats Kurt Angle, he gets a shot and at that title opponent, in the near future. Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, the WWE <clears throat> Champion. Kurt Angle with two points, defeating Kevin Owens in the first night of B-Block. Both men looking to gain four points tonight. things look it looks like we're gonna have more people in uh, first place than in uh, a block just by one though we have another matchup coming up the rock versus Alice the black where both men have two points I don't think Kofi got all of that an angle the dragon screw whip in on the ribs of Kofi trying to get all the air out of the lungs and ooh Kofi now big uppercut there sends him off the ropes Kofi jumps over and ooh great counter there by Angle Angle oh my goodness ooh picks up Kofi Kofi now in trouble sent into the corner Angle with a clothesline to the back of the neck. Kofi right back up though. Kofi hits that double stop. There it is. Got all of it that time. Kofi, no. Angle, no. Kofi. Sends him into the corner. Knees to the back. Angle back up. Takes Kofi Kingston down. Kofi swinging, neck breaker. I'd say swinging around for a neck breaker. Just forgot a couple of words. Anyway, Kofi with the pin one, no. And a big boys play. That sign says, whoa. Kofi. Make an angle roll to the apron, pulling himself up now, Kofi. Staring at Angle, perhaps waiting for Angle to get in, he does. Ooh, Angle takes a shot right to Kofi. Elbow to the arm. Ooh, kick right to the hip. Kofi now, Russian leg sweep, no, stroke. Cover. One. Drop kick miss. Angle got out of the way and oh, 
Kofi able to get behind Angle. Big clothesline. Kofi working on the arm. Boom drop. Kofi with the pin. One. No. Kofi surprised. I don't know why. Oh, wait a minute. Kofi. Kofi getting ready. Kofi. No. Trouble in paradise. Dodged by Angle. Angle. German suplex. Dragging Kofi away from the ropes now. Oh, no. Oh, no. The ankle lock. And oh, he's laying into it. Kofi. Will Kofi tap out? Kofi is in pain. And wait a minute. He's able to get out of it. Ooh, kicking the knee of Angle. Kofi now. No, Angle has him. Sends him into the corner. No! Oh! <laughs> Kofi picks up Angle. Bringing him over to the steel steps. Ooh, drops him down. Face first. Angle right back up, though. Angle. No. Kofi. Snap bear on the outside. Ooh. Wow. First time I've seen that. Ooh, Kofi. Stunning Angle there. Picks him up. Drops him for a back suplex. Kofi getting ready. No. Angle sends him into the corner. Uh oh. German suplex by the American hero. Kurt with the pin. One, no. What a kick to the back that was. Picking up Kofi Kofi. Firing back with everything he has. Got here. Oh, no. Ooh! Trying to decapitate Kurt Angle. Kofi now sending him into the corner. Bring him around. And monkey flip. Off the turnbuckle. Kofi with the pin. Will that be enough? I don't think so. Oh, Angle gets the shoulder up. I was just about to say. Forget what I said. Oh, no. Kofi setting up. Trouble in paradise. He nailed him. Oh my god, could Kofi get a shot at the championship? Cover! One! Two! Oh, oh no! Kurt gets the shoulder up just before three. Kofi with a big chop. Went for another. Could not connect with it. Oh, German, but no. Angle knocked back into the corner. Kofi attacking the back. Oh, God. Michinoku driver. Michinoku driver is, a, is how Kofi won a couple of matches in the first ever H2C round robin tournament. And oh, Angle able to kick out. Drop kick has been missed. Angle now. Big punch in the face and Olympic slam. Angle slam, whatever you want to call it. The referee not paying attention. One, two. No, oh, Kofi kicks out, gets the shoulder up. Kofi with the jawbreaker. 
Wait a minute. Oh, I thought he was going for the SOS. Looking for another boom drop. Nails it. Center of the ring. Picks up Angle, but Angle's right there with the jawbreaker of his own. Grabs Kofi by the arm. Kofi with an elbow to the head. Angle again, sending him into the corner. Ooh! Good angle. Elbow to the knee. Oh no. Oh, wait a minute. STF! He's got it locked in. Kofi just reached for the ropes, my friend. Now, yeah, wait a minute. Gets out of it. Trouble in paradise? No! Gets picked up and slammed down by Angle. That was fucking great looking. Kofi takes him down again. Waiting for the champ to get up. Could Kofi do this? Hits it! Kofi now rolls him over. Hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Kofi Kingston so close to getting a shot at the world championship. Angle with a jawbreaker takes him down with an STO. I think that's the STO. I don't know. Like, I'm, like, suddenly doubting. Anyways, Kofi, kick to the back of the champion. Sits him up and hooks in a reverse chin lock. Ooh, Kofi with a big punch to the face. Sends Angle into the oh, corner, but no. Angle, belly to belly. Oh my God, Kurt going up top. What's he looking for? Oh my God, Kofi right back up. Oh my God, drop kick missed. Oh, we're gonna see a trouble in paradise. Kind of upset that we didn't. But kinda, I mean, really upset that we didn't. Angle with the DDT. Cover. One. Two. Not enough. As my mint was flying out of my mouth. Uh oh. Kurt Angle takes down the straps. You know what that means? It means Kofi's firing back. Suplex. Angle with a knee to the head. Oh no. Olympic slam. Cover. One, two, three. Kurt Angle picks up the win. What a fucking match. These two had an all-out war. Kurt Angle winner. puts the straps back up. Angle. Kurt Angle now with four points. Kofi Kingston still with two. That was a hell of a match. All right, folks, let's get to our next match. Eric Young takes on Goldust. Stay tuned.
Eric Young making his way out. <clears throat> SmackDown tag champ. Champ. <laughs> SmackDown tag champion. No idea what the hell that was. Folks, <laughs> just don't know. Eric Young looking to get his first two points. Lost to The Rock in his first match. against Goldust tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here comes his opponent. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 232 what? pounds. Goldust defeated John Cena for two points in his first match. Very impressive win. Wind? Win. Wow. What the hell is wrong with me tonight? Here we go. Eric Young with a belly to belly to kick things off. Misses that kick though. Goldust go behind Eric Young right there with an elbow to the face. Backbreaker by Goldust. Boots the oh, wait a minute. I said boots, but you know, whatever. Goldust stomping right on the face. <laughs> Takes down Young. Sending Eric Young off the ropes. Elbow right to the face. Sends him into the corner. Goldust with that big butt bump. Cover. Referee, I don't know what is wrong with this freaking ref tonight. Goldust, oh my god, what is he doing? Oh my god, I thought he was going to powerbomb him out. Eric Young, elbows to the face, gets him down, super kick! Picks him up. And... 
Ooh, drops him across the ropes. Covered by Goldust one, no. Into the corner. Back up to his feet. Sent into the corner again. Nails him right in the face. <clears throat> Going up top is Eric Young. Big elbow drop. Hits his mark. And Goldust takes him down. Sends him into the corner. Goldust now. Oh, misses. And wait a minute, crucifix. Goldust. Just still taking it to Eric Young. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, final cut. No, I'm sorry. Curtain call. Cover. One. Two. No. I forgot final cut with the uh, when he spins. I think we're about to see the final cut. No! Hold on, went for something different. Eric Young took advantage to get out of it. Sorry, an opening and took it. Goldust. Oh! Close up. No. Up and over Gold goes Goldust. And Dragon Screw Whip by Goldust. Oh, Eric Young. Eric Young, I think, may be really hurt after that. Oh yeah, no, he's like, he's limping. Goldust, oh, what a kick. <clears throat> Goldust with the pin, one, no. Close lines him right up and over the top, onto the floor. Back in. Golda sends him into the corner. No, misses the butt bump again. Goldust working on the neck, just cranking away. We have two more matches for you after this. The Rock and Aleister Black and John Cena versus Go uh, Kevin Owens. Excuse me. Big splash from the top. One, two. Oh my God! He almost had him with it. Goldust arguing with the referee now. Goldust. Single leg Boston crowd, but Eric Young is right there at the ropes. Working on the knees some more. One, two, he got him. All right. <laughs>
Goldust now has a SmackDown Tag Team Championship opportunity as well as four points. Look at that big splash. That was wonderful. Here is your winner, Goldust. What is y'all doing out there? Oh, shit. Gonna have to get a word on Eric Young. See about that knee. Alright, folks, let's get back to more action. Stay tuned. This is the match I'm most excited about. It is certainly an interesting matchup. Two very different styles. Two very different people. We have the United States Champion Aleister Black who currently has two points. Making his way to the ring. He will be going up Rick against the Rock, Holland, who also has two points. Weighing in at 215 pounds, the United States Champion, Alistair Black. As I mentioned earlier, Alistair Black defeated Curtis Axel in his first singles match of this tournament. Mr. Black, a very stoic man. points as well defeating Eric Young in his first match and Eric Young is currently being looked at by the doctors behind the scenes we will try to get an update <clears throat> if not we will have an update on Smackdown tomorrow night There's some worry about Dolph Ziggler not doing well after being dropped on his head. But he obviously is doing well. We saw him earlier tonight. Was able to take a few days off along with everyone else in this tournament. Looking ready as ever.
Here we go. Kick to the stomach by Black already. Suplex. Wait a minute, Rock. Takes down Alistair. Alistair Black. Trying to take the Rock down. Rock goes behind now. Trying to take Alistair down. Having a hard time as well. Snapmare by Black. Reverse chin lock and. Ooh, knee right to the back. Rock back up with a kick to the ribs and no blocks the belly to belly. Alistair. Beautiful. Always great to see Sign saying my first WCW event. Crowd really loves this show. And oh. I'm gonna kick it. Oh, Rock answers back with one of his own. Suplex. <clears throat> oh, the ref gets taken out. What is this, Raw? Whoa! Kip up right over the ref. And DDT. Rock throwing punches. He is done playing around. Oh my god, yeah, no, he really is. Cranking away on Alistair's neck. And the rock. Forearm to the face. Covers. What? No, not even a one count. Alistair, kick to the back of the leg. Cutter! Excuse me. I didn't mean to get that loud. Cover. The Rock trying to grab at Alistair. That was... Something. Rock. Oh, what a spine buster. Oh, no. Rock already going for a rock bottom. And he's got it. Boom. The Rock with a cover. One, two. No, Alistair Black gets the shoulder up. Gonna have to do more than that to put away the United States champion. Of course, if The Rock beats Alistair, he will get the United States championship opportunity. Oh my God. Oh, wait a minute. Alistair, oh! Catches the rock right under the jaw. One, two, no. Black thought that was it. Picks him up, sends him into the corner. Alistair now, shot right to the face. Oh, wait a minute, lifting the rock up with his boot. Black Mass, that's it for The Rock. One, two, no. Shoulder up at the last millisecond. Alistair watching The Rock. Oh, gets caught. Alistair gets hit with a Samoan drop. Ooh. Oh, clothesline. Another one. Alistair throws one of his own, but gets caught with one. Third and final clothesline for the Rocker. Ooh, boot to the face by Alistair Black. Picking up the Rock now. Ooh, my God. Spinning knee right to the side of the face. And the Rock spills out to the outside. Rock now grabbing Alistair. Off the ring apron. Three. 
Alistair with a shot to the face there, and oh, running knee right to the ribs. <clears throat> Rock gets picked up. And beautiful move there by Alistair Black. Referee at the count of six. Alistair Black, no. Referee at the count of seven, and the Rock throws in Alistair Black. Refusing to take a count out victory. Rock throwing a knee of his own. Rock now, what's he doing? Telling Alistair to get up, apparently. <clears throat> Alistair Black starting to stir. Oh. oh, got caught. Went to the well too many times. Rock bottom! Rock now with a pin. One, two, no. Kick out by Alistair Black. Rock is getting frustrated. Alistair with a jawbreaker. Alistair, DDT. Hooked to the leg and Rock's busted open. One, two, no. was going to go for a running knee again. Oh, wait a minute, Rock. What the hell? Phone just went off. Let's get the hell out of me. Rock now. Reverse suplex. Cover on the champion. One, two, no. Kick out by Aleister Black. The Rock. Ooh, what a kick. Picks him up, swoop of the leg. Alistair waiting for the rock to get up. Oh, got caught. Went for the black mask, but got hit with a dragon screw whip. Rock dragging him into the center of the ring. Alistair quickly getting up. Probably could feel a people's elbow or something coming up. Rock now. No, gets caught. Alistair. Lifting him up. Ooh! Jesus, what a kick! Ooh, stomping right on the ribs. Kick to the chest, that might be it. One, two, no! Rock able to kick out. Alistair, no, Rock now. Working on the arm. Sends Alistair into the corner. Oh, what a big clothesline! Rock, forearm right to the face. Rock now, looking for a neck breaker. Able to connect with it. Oh no, Alistair Black is in trouble as the Rock, going for a third, Rock bottom, hits it. This may be it for the US, US champion. And it is. The Rock picks up four points in a United States Championship opportunity in the near future. <laughs> what a match. What a match. I can't wait to see The Rock go for that U.S. Championship if he chooses to do so. Here is your winner, The Rock! <clears throat> yeah, the thing about this the thing about The Rock in this tournament, he's not even in any of the rosters. He's not really signed to anyone. But he is here for the WWE Cup. Anyways, let's get to our next match. The Rock... Excuse me. John Cena versus Kevin Owens. Stay tuned. Kevin Owens making his way out. Making his way to the ring from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 200.
166 pounds, Kevin. Lost to Kurt Angle on his first match, or in his first match. We're going to gain two points over John Cena tonight. Now, typically, this would be your main event of the night, but we have Alexa Bliss. The WCW Champion taking on the WCW Intercontinental Champion, Paige. As your main event, due to the fact that we are on Nitro. This is Women's Championship Wrestling. Currently being taken over by the WWE Paige Cup. Much like how Raw and SmackDown were taken over by the WCW Cup. John Cena lost to Goldust in his first match. Here we go. 30 minutes on the clock. Cena takes down Owens with that shoulder tackle. Misses the kick though. Cena goes behind it. Uh, Owens almost had angles for some reason. Oh, shifting his body weight. Owens able to counter John Cena. And wait a minute, roll up. Owens trying to end this early one, no. Cena with a roll up, but Owens is in the ropes. Owens is in the ropes. Referee could not see that Owens was in the ropes, apparently. Thankfully, Owens was able to kick out. Owens. DDT. Cena with a big uppercut. And looking for Fishman suplex. The speed that Cena is going. Looks like he's trying to end this early as well. And ooh, got wrench suplex. And again, in a tournament like this, you don't want to really spend a lot of time in the ring. You want to get your matches done as early as you can. Because your body will take a lot. A lot of beatings, a lot of damage throughout the tournament. Owens now. Ooh. Someone drop by the Canadian. Kevin Owens will be part of the Canadian Classic. And Cena. Going to take him down. Owens. Climbing the ropes. Or pulling himself up. Thanks to the ropes, I should say. Cena. Kick to the back, picks him up. Ooh, block punch. Block punch. Kick blocked. Or caught. Clothesline takes Cena down, and Owens, I think, is trying to get a count out victory. Oh, wait a minute. Cena catches him. Cena now, no. Owens. Picks him up.
Owens now dragging him away from the ropes. Going for a pin. One. No. Owens going up. Referee telling him to come down. Owens looking to come down with a moonsault. <coughs> Excuse me. Owens sending Cena into the corner. Gets caught. Cena now. Looking for a Yoshi Tonic. Hits it. One. Two. Oh my god, Owens. One. No. Kevin Owens sending him into the corner. Back it up. Cannonball. Cena's right back up, though. Owen stomping away. Very mixed feelings in this match. Or in the crowd for this match, I should say. Oh, wait a minute, Owens. Waiting for Cena to get up. Looking for the pop-up powerbomb. And hits it. One, two, he did it! Kevin Owens picks up two points. And we can see this again, one, that Cena rolls Owens into the ropes and the ref just does not pay attention. I don't know, I, I really don't know what it is with this referee tonight. Yoshi Tonic there. Here it is, the cannonball, which spelled the end for Cena. And this just put the period right on it. Bam! One, two, and three. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens! Kevin Owens, two points. Let me run down the B block for you right now. Kurt Angle, The Rock, Killian Dane, and Goldust all in the lead with four points. Followed by Rowe, Kofi Kingston, Aleister Black, and Kevin Owens with two points. Big E, John Cena, and Eric Young all have zero. Let's get to your main event. Stay tuned. Champion versus champion action. Here we go, folks. Main event time. <clears throat> Making her way to the ring from Norwich, England, the WCW Intercontinental Champion, Paige. This is the first time we're seeing Paige with that title. And it looks great with her. She is proud to be the first ever WCW Intercontinental Champion. Let's bring out her opponent. The newly crowned WCW World Champion. And her opponent, accompanied by Mickey James from Columbus, Ohio. You know, the WCW Champion, Alexa Bliss. Why does that championship go over Alexa? But it didn't for Asuka. Oh, you know what? This could be because. That is a custom ring attire. Did not think about that. Anyway, Alexa Bliss defeated Asuka for that title at SummerSlam. Was able to dethrone her. She 
cashed in her chance to win the title. And here we go. Mickey James out with Alexa as well. <clears throat> I can't even see Mickey come down with her. It's just too distracted. This feud has been bubbling over since the beginning of the season. Oh, Paige! Takes it down. Paige now looking for a suplex. Hits it. Now Paige also has a shot at the WCW Championship title, but she refused to do it tonight. No idea if she will do it in the near future. She claims that her focus is on the Intercontinental Championship right now and defending it. And oh, what a chop! Paige, oh my god! Throwing Bliss overhead with that fall away slam right into the corner. Bliss going outside, taking a moment. Paige actually backed away to let her in. Picks her up. And drops her over the top rope. Oh, wait a minute. Paige Turner hits it. Goes for the pin already. One. No. Bliss able to shove her off. Again, Bliss now. Ooh, what a neck breaker. Wait a minute, still chair in the ring. Oh, sorry, folks. I had to sneeze and oh, DDT run on the chair. And Paige with a jawbreaker. No. I don't understand how Paige is up. Referee finally noticing the chair and throws it out. Alexa Bliss stretching Paige over the knee. Shot to the knee by Paige. Paige, sidewalk slam. Paige has all the opportunities in the world right now and refused to take any of them. <clears throat> and, a bl and Bliss taking it to Paige now. Adding insult to injury once more. Goes for the pin. One, two. <laughs> Sorry. It's funny, as the ref was going down, he like just took a quick glance over to Mickey James. Caught me off guard. And looking for that DDT again. Bliss with the cover. One, two, no. Paige able to get the shoulder up. Now the main reason Paige wanted this match, she wanted to prove that Alexa Bliss is not a champion and should not be able to hold that world championship. But I think she's wrong. Bliss is doing a hell of a job keeping Paige down. And of course, Bliss did not back away from this challenge. It's right there. Makes you a great champion for not backing down. Whoa! Over that top she goes. Paige up top. And oh, Paige going up. Elbow drop misses. 
And Bliss rolls her up. One, two, no! Unable to put her away. No. First chin lock by Paige. But Bliss able to fight out of it. Ooh, kick to the ribs. And Bliss sent outside. Wait, what is Paige doing? Paige. Paige. Oh my god, Paige. Oh my god. Suicide dive to the outside. And this WCW Nitro crowd loving it. This is Women's Championship Wrestling, folks. The Women's Championship Wrestling, whatever. Alexa. Kicks to the knee. Oh! Paige, no! Shot to the ribs. Paige with a big clothesline. Picks her up. Another one. Picks her up once more. Delivers a third. Referee at the count of seven, Paige sending her into the ring. Does not want to bring this into a double count out. We're gonna count out victory. Ooh! Paige with a shot to the face. Or, excuse me, Bliss with a shot to the face. Oh, DDT! Cover! One, two, she got her! Alexa Bliss. Catching Paige with that DDT to prove that she is the champion. She says that she is. And proving Paige wrong, and oh my god, what a dive! Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. And folks, that's going to do it. Uh, let me run down the matches for SmackDown tomorrow night. Let's see. Sorry. Uh, we got for your Block B tag matches Big E and Kofi Kingston take on Curtis Axel and John Cena. Roe and Goldust take on Kurt Angle and Aleister Black. Killian Dane and Eric Young will take on Kevin Owens and The Rock. Your Block A matches are as follows. Bobby Fish versus Dolph Ziggler. Rey Mysterio versus Dean Ambrose. Champion versus Champion match. As Roderick Strong, your North American Champion, takes on the SmackDown Tag Team Champion, Alexander Wolfe. Kyle O'Reilly takes on Adam Cole. Mustafa Ali takes on Elias. And main event, your main event, will be another champion versus championship match as Johnny Gargano, the Cruiserweight Champion, takes on the Universal Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you for SmackDown. I love you. Goodbye.